As the close command from the driving panel is given, the close command comes to DCU. Then the DCU gives command to the motor. The motor begins rotating. As the motor is rotating, it transfers power to the spindle shaft via the transmission pulley and the transmission belt. The spindle shaft is connected to the door leaves through the two drive brackets and the spindle nut. This spindle nut converts the rotary motion into linear motion for door movement. Now, door begins to close. As soon as doors reach the predetermined position, the acceleration of the door decreases. At this point, the solenoid operates the center hook, which brings the lock switch to unlock position. As soon as the lock switch gets unlocked, the door leaves comes to a fully closed position. plunger rod operates the close switch and brings it into close position. Now the solenoid allows the center hook to lock into the eccentric pin which is the mechanical locking of door leaves. Simultaneously the center hook brings lock switch into locking position. Now the locking information goes to DCU via the lock switch which then confirms that the door is locked. After the safety controller satisfactorily checks the locked position of the door, it displays 00 on the DCU. The door is now safely closed.